Right, let me out, otherwise I'm going to smash every window in this car. What have you done? I've got auction fever. I have f***ed myself. Welcome back to the Car Throttle channel. I'm Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. Behind the camera. And today, we're doing something different because we are at a car auction. We are at West Oxfordshire Motor Auction Limited. We're here to buy a car for £500. <sighs> There's a couple of vans that I've seen and I'm like... Mm. Vans? Van! I don't have a van, I've got an MX-5, small. Got my E34 Touring, practical. I need something bigger, I need a van. Yeah. And I have a motorbike as well. It'll be men in Ven. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Peep show. Yeah. Very yeah, good. good. Anyway, before the auction actually kicks off, let us have a look around. I'm so excited. Cars are over there. Shall we? Shall we go? Come on. So as you can see, it's like we're online, but in the real world. Gumtree, Facebook and Autotrader all in one place. I've already seen a few tidy morsels. The aim of the video is for me not to be driven home by Ethan. And I'm definitely not getting in a car no, with you. No, don't do it, I wouldn't. Ooh, this is a Nissan Terrano. Definitely, again, won't go for 500 pounds. All the cars will have a reserve. We don't know what the reserves are on these cars. No. This is probably, this is you. This has got you written all over it. My girlfriend, used to own one of these, and she's about my height, so you get into a car, you don't really notice what's on the roof, do you? It came to about six month mark, and then we were like, what's that on the roof? And someone had actually keyed the word in the roof. Did they know it was yours? It's cute, isn't it? This is a bit of you, Ethan. This Toran as well, quite an interesting prospect. MOT until 22nd of October. One former keeper. Oh, 195,000 miles. We're more interested now. <laughs> Hello. If I could drive home in this for 500 pounds, I have one life. On? This would be great fun as well. It's like the- um, oh, It's like your Peugeot. Peugeot 206cc. It's a really ugly looking thing. I'd be quite happy to drive around, drive around in that. Oh, this is hideous as well. I'd like this. You know, I want to give love to the ugly ones. You should see some of my ex-girlfriends. What are we looking at? Ooh. Ooh. You like that? Yeah. yeah. What's Ethan found? Do you like this? An EOS. I should have known. That's a two plus two. That's four. <gasps> oh, Vauxhall Amiga Estate. This is the epitome of a barge. And it's unlocked. It opens. <laughs> we just check it's got the spare wheel. Oh, it does actually. I think this is, this is my number one. No, that'll do. <laughs> we'll see you later, we'll see you later, mate. All right. How'd you get out? No, it's not in there. Right, let me out, otherwise I'm going to smash every window in this car. This is lovely. Look at the state of my jeans. The only thing I've seen that I've been vaguely interested in, the worst GTI, arguably. Chrysler Grand Voyager. What a heap of shit. It's disgusting. But I love it. Oh! What? Oh! Bora! Yes! TD and red eye as well, so that's a 130. Right? I actually thought you were pointing out something good. No, well, I have. <laughs> this is what you need. Oh, those seats are amazing. Think about the trio. Oh, we have the Audi, oh, the Skoda, oh. the V Dub. The Vag group. Three Vages. Should we go and have a look at vans? Don't yeah. know why we're looking at vans, but fine, we can. Because look at men vans. in Ven. That's quite cool. Little uh, Vauxhall combo van. Oh, Reynolds Cleaning Services. That's a high ace, that is. That's lovely. East Bay painting and decorating. <laughs> Look, smashed up. It's another 500 quid off. Look at the state <gasps> of it in there. Oh my, look at the seat. Duct tape has fixed that seat. Good as new. <laughs> there has been a massive liquid explosion in the back here. If we took the shelving out, we'd almost have bunk beds. Ooh, <gasps> we'll get in there, can Camper we? van. Camper van. We could do a camper van conversion. What type of van is this? The best sort. Another interesting thing to remember as well is there's commission on anything you buy. Say we get a car for 500 pounds, that's not going to be the final price that we pay. Try and rein me in a little bit. Okay. Don't worry, we always do. <laughs> also, because we're such newbies here, how, how do we bid? Yeah, yeah, you know you've made it when you, all you have to do is just nod. That's perfect, okay. yeah? yeah. Should we get a coffee in? Yeah, I need a Have coffee. A it's, cold, it's cold out here. We've shortlisted a few that we like. People are out with their catalogue, sitting at the table. You're eyeing up your competitors and stuff. You're, oh, you're yeah. practising your... Yeah. Regulars who come here, it's basically, they'll, they'll just be there standing and they'll just be on. They're the professionals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're the ones that we want to fit in with, okay? I'm going to call it. That, that meagre I'm going to get for £200. 
On the nose. On the nose. It's like a less shit version of bingo. I have my pen. I don't know what people do now. Um, what do you like? Put? Draw a penis. That's number one. Asterix. And my love. That's not all we want though, is it? No. There was something, there was the Toran. There was a borer as well, wasn't there? Yeah, the borer is important. Let's make sure we find that. There was also um, the golf in Royal Mail Red. Should we stay away from that one? No, no. let's get it. <laughs> I've also circled that Kia Karens. Yeah, good shout. Because why not? Why not? In the catalogue as well, you have like a kind of industry standard what the car would be worth. For anyone who goes to an auction, you can kind of get a really good idea of what you should be paying. What's the Amiga? What's the... Oh, the Amiga. Oh. I mean, cap clean is 5.30. There was a massive dent. Massive the bumper was coming off. I was blinded by beauty. We don't really want to pay more than £200. Genuinely, I'm having so much fun. Going to an auction means that you actually get out, you get to look around cars, and then you get to, like, play bingo, and then the main event is... You do know this isn't a game. Everything's a game to Alex, though. Life is just one big game, which somehow he keeps on f***ing winning. Someone says to you now, right, you can have the Bora for 450 quid or you can have the Amiga for 300, what are you going to do? The Amiga is the more interesting car. I think the Amiga probably has more diseases as well, which is interesting. 270, what's that? What? <gasps> that's, the, that's the Mark IV. A Mark IV Golf GTI for an average of 270 pounds. Should we get one each? Street KA, 100 quid. What? No. Where? No. Oh. You f <laughs> Toyota Hi-Ace, there we go. Is that it? Oh, no. That yeah. 2850. That's not 500 quid. Right then, it's uh, coming up to auction time. I'm gonna psych a few people out, hope that some people leave, and then uh, buy five cars. Right, so it's now six o'clock. The vans are lined up there. Auction fever is with us. Lots of people shaking hands. That's what you're doing at auction. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I'm worried I've already been on something. <coughs> you just been on that by coughing. Shit. This is the one you wanted, isn't it? I think chuck a bid in. Five hundred quid. We won't get it. Six hundred pounds. Middle of all. Six hundred pounds. Seven hundred quid. Seven bid. Seven bid. That's seven pounds. So now it's the turn of the cars. Vans are all done with. How are the nerves? <laughs> It's, it's starting to ramp up now because the car after this is the uh, is a Highline Bora. My worry is if I go in with a bit of £500, pounds, no one else does, then I've bought a car, blown the budget, and we have to go home. £500. Oh. Three, four. Oh my god, that's too much. Literally, for a second, my world ended and I didn't know what was happening. Some GTIs now. You don't care, Jack GTI. If I can get that for 350 quid, that would be a steal, so I'm going to bid on it. There's a lot of interest in this, though, man, that you can see. Oh, it's so already too much. I'm out. I'm out. I triple what I wanted to pay. People just love GTIs, man. I understand it. Cap clean, 490. We're about 10 cars away from Omega spec. Oh, the car after this, the Omega, moving under its own steam. Don't be too excited, don't, keep, keep it casual, keep it casual. Five hundred pounds, I'd say. Five hundred quid. Dan probably have one of these things, you know. You've got five hundred pounds, four, three, three hundred quid. The auction's supposed to go going up, not down. Three hundred quid, three bit, three bit, yeah, lucky man. That's three hundred pounds now, the main bid now is three. Oh. Did I go too high? We don't really want to pay more than £200. That's around about 50, that's 25, sorry. 325. Just hit to the post. That's 325. That's all I'm going to try and 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 try and
No, no, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Try and rein me in a little bit. Go on, one more, one more, one more. Oh, I'm out. Ah! I'm out. One more. One more. <laughs> yes! That was your fault. What have you done? I got auction fever. I have myself. That meager I'm going to get for 200 pounds. Oh, it's only got MOT until May. Oh, it's an auto as well. It's auto? Yeah. Oh my God. All right, you're impressed? Yeah, that's, the, that's probably not the most fun way you can spend 500 quid. Who bid against me? Well done, fair play, internet bidder. He made you look a right mug. I think the exact same as everyone else watching this. What the hell just happened? Well done. Yeah, well done. I suppose I should probably pay for it, right? Right, so the next car in is the Volkswagen Touran, 193,000 miles. That was like my second choice. If this goes for like way more than 500 pounds, I won't feel so bad. And two and a half, two and a half, main bid, three and a half, 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 we done? And three and a half, four and a half, four and Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Four fifth, 500 pounds, 500 pounds, okay. we done? 550, 550, we're far right. Look at it this way, I paid like the lowest money for the biggest boot. If you do it in like square foot, you've done very well. Yeah, garden included with this one as well. <laughs> Right, should we go uh, pay for my new ship box? I see a lot of cash, so my first thought is hopefully they take card. I'm not like new to this or anything, I know what I'm doing. I'm in the wrong place. Perfect. Number 51. Is that everything that came with it? Yes. Oh no. Thank you very much. Your latest mistake. Thoughts? Initial. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Positive. Yeah. Same here, excellent. Same let's, let's stay cheery about this, shall okay. we? It smells like an Alsatian in here. Oh, that's a win. That purse. That's going to get me home. And I've got half a tank. Oh, there you go. Oh, 77,000 miles. Why does it say brake light check? You know, just like check it. Check the brick that. Check how sick they are. Yeah. That's gonna need some um, some scene too, Alex. Bit on the piss that. You have a free bulb. I'm happy. Okay. As long as it gets me home, job done, and I've had so much fun. It's been funny watching you buy this and the look of regret on your face. I guess that kind of concludes this episode. Um, auctions are so much fun. Even if you don't buy anything, go to an auction like this. We're gonna sign off now, and next time I'm gonna have a proper look through this car. We're gonna do that, aren't we, Jack? Have a proper look. If you like this episode, then please consider subscribing by clicking on this link. And you can check out more challenge videos down here. I'm gonna hope that this takes me home. See you next time. Adios. Does it drive? Oh, it drives. Look at it, look at it go. Yes! Whoa!